Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. It's another P.O. Box unboxing video. This is all the stuff I got in my P.O. Box in the month of June 2022. And the folks that sent stuff in June, they just got themselves in a Cobra Convergence video because I am opening them in July. As always, you should never feel obligated to send anything in. Uh, in fact, if you have the slightest doubt about sending anything, I'd rather you didn't. But if you would like to send something, the address will be on the screen right now and everything I get this month I will open in a video like this to show my thanks and appreciation for all that you do to support me and support the channel and keep this all going. I'm going to start with this one because it's on top and this is from Dave Domenico. Thank you Dave Domenico uh, and uh, yeah I, I've cut all of these open by the way they're all cut open uh, but I have not looked inside so I don't know what's in there so let's find out what's in this one and this one is a plastic bag uh, oh and it's a plastic bag of accessories of accessories let's check these out let's check these out there's more than one bag in here. All right, well, let's dig this. Hold on. Uh, these may be too tiny for you to see very well on screen, but I can see them pretty well here. Um, I'm not sure... Well, okay, now look at this. This is like Stalker's submachine gun in silver, and there's a nice black M16 here. Here is um, Snake Eyes's like, version 1 Uzi uh, in, in uh, like a gray plastic. That's nice. That's really cool. Um, I don't know... Well, actually, some of these are probably, like, Joe accessories. There's a, a sniper rifle. And this looks like... This has got to be Xandar's, Xandar's dart gun, but without the tip. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you for the accessories. Um, I uh, Sometimes I am a little short on accessories. Um, and, as you know, I like to cover the accessories. Uh, so, like, this is a unique one. I don't know what this goes to right off the top of my head. Um, and we've got a sword. A silver sword. Uh, and we have, like, this is, I think this is like a, a missile launcher from the Core series. I don't think this is a Joe item, but um, as some of you may know, I'm trying to get to the Core and other Joe-inspired toys as well. So, uh, thank you for this, Dave. Uh, really awesome stuff. I think, what's my favorite one? What's my favorite one? Um, I'm going to say my favorite one is the Stalker submachine gun. So, thank you, Dave. Thank you for your support, and uh, uh, thanks for all this. And just, um, I'm glad to have you along for the ride. I'm glad that you're here watching the videos, and hopefully you'll stick around. The next package is um, from... It's from Things From Another World. It doesn't say who sent it. It was apparently sent direct from there. Uh, and it is... Um, there's a packing slip. That's that's nice. A very all-important packing slip. And oh, Okay, so um, I thought this was comic book sized. And yes, this is G.I. Joe Saturday Morning Adventures number 3. I uh, already have the first two. Even though it doesn't say who sent this, I think it might have been Chris from Comic Tropes. Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, he helped with the uh, uh, the earlier issues as well. Uh, so thank you. I've been enjoying this series, um, and uh, I'm looking forward to reading issue number three. So um, if it wasn't Chris that sent this, thank you to whoever it was. But if it was, thanks, Chris. And even if it wasn't Chris, thanks, Chris, anyway, for all you do. You're an awesome guy. So, uh, so thanks for this. Really looking forward to reading. Uh, G.I. Joe Saturday Morning Adventures issue number three. This is a series that is inspired by the G.I. Joe animated series from the 80s. So it's it's very much in that style. And um, yeah, if, if you like the animated series, this is basically that in comic book form. It's very interesting. Not something that, uh, that you see very often. It's kind of a unique idea. So really cool. Looking forward to reading that. Next is this from the Fragminian slash Fly Attractor. Uh, I've seen you around. I know that name. Thank you for all your support for quite some time. And it looks like there is a letter in here. Let me just, it's short. 
All right, so I'm going to scan this really quick just to make sure there isn't anything too personal in here. Uh, people do write me letters. Sometimes they do include personal information in there, so I try to look over it before reading it on screen. So, yeah, I think this is okay. It says, Hi, Hoodie, longtime watcher and fan. Yeah, I've seen you around, sir. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Acquired an extra Joe item. Uh, chose to reshare instead of return. Hope you can get some use out of. Hope all is well. The Frag. Thank you very much. And, and like with all letters I received, uh, I do keep these letters. I have a special place for them. I'm keeping these forever. Uh, so thank you for writing, and thank you for sending this. And I have no idea what it is. So let's... It's bubble wrapped. Always wise to bubble wrap. Okay, make sure... Okay, I have accidentally left stuff in the, in the box and or envelope before, so now I always try to check... Um, and just at a glance, I know what this is. Hey, 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 hey. No, this is actually something that um, I have been very curious about. This is the GI, uh, Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins movie Night Creeper. And this is intriguing. So these are not exactly in classified scale. They're a little shorter. But this is a modern... Night Creeper. Uh, and the Night Creeper, as you may remember, was a really fascinating action figure. Um, and I'm intrigued to see what they've done with this modern figure. So this will get opened. I want to see this. I have seen it around, but I, I didn't have one. So you, you have given me something that I did not already have. So thank you for this, Fragminian, uh, and thank you for your long support, and uh, I'm just thrilled to have you around, and I'm glad you're still sticking with us. So thank you again, and uh, thanks for the Night Creeper. The last item is this big box, and this is from Corey Smith. Thank you, Corey. Uh, I am going to open this, and it looks like I, w I was wondering if I opened the right end, but it looks like I did, because there is a letter on top. And this one is a little longer, so I will pause just for a moment so I can read this, uh, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I have read the letter. Nothing too personal in here. He does say to not share his address, which I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do. I try to black out all of the addresses on the boxes and stuff, so, so I'm not sharing your address. But it says, um, hello, HCC788. Hello. Uh, first, a big thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have enjoyed your channel and its content for some time now and have truly appreciated the hard work and dedication you have put into it. Thank you very much. Uh, the re reviews are insightful and thorough with just enough to keep them entertaining and fun. Being a man of a certain age, I have had many incarnations of G.I. Joe. This caught my eye and I wonder what's uh, your take on it. I've been a big fan of action figures in scale with other for cross-media play and this looks like some of the earliest action figures from Mego. Please, our best wishes to you and yours. Stay safe and well. Uh, lots of love, Corey, um, a.k.a. Chef Corey 2000 Thank you, Corey. Thank you very much. Uh, and now I'm very curious. I'm very curious what this is. And thank you for your support. Thank you for being around. Uh, and thank you for this. I'm going to actually set this, um, set this down because it's easier for me to reach the top. Uh, but we've got some good packing. Very good packing. Um, this, this is great packing. This thing's indestructible. Well, seeing how, what the U.S. Postal Service does with some packages, you gotta sometimes pack them a little extra. Uh, and we have some great packing here, and I still don't know what it is. Um, I'm very eager to find out. All right, there we go. Uh, it feels like Christmas. Uh, okay. All right. We are getting... It, it would be hilarious if it was just uh, packing material all the way down. Uh, oh, well, oh, yes, 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 yes. I have. Uh, I have heard of these, but I hadn't seen them. This is Mego G.I. Joe. It is... Uh, uh, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow in Mego scale. And I'm wondering, it's taped. Should I cut the tape so I can take a look at it? Um, 
I, I will briefly, uh, I, I will I will go ahead and t uh, cut the tape just so I, I mean, I would open them anyway. So, just so I can actually see what they look like um, and just take a brief look at them here. Uh, I can try to take a more thorough look at them uh, later. But I just want to, I want to, I just want to peek. I just want to peek at them. And I have no idea how this box opens. Um, let's see. Um... Okay, it, it's it's well boxed. Ah, oh, there we, there we go. Okay, it's a sleeve, and then yeah, check this out. Yeah, that that is. I mean, kind of. There we go. Um, yeah, this is um, like Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, if they were made by Mego. And in fact, these it has the Mego logo here. And yes, I have seen these around. I have seen these around and. I've been so curious about them. So uh, so thank you for sending this. And um, I'm not gonna take them out of the packaging for right now. Um, I'm gonna do that later when I can take a more thorough look at them. But I mean, it's got like soft goods uniforms. Um, it's got, you know, the accessories and stuff. It's got like the, the hard plastic heads. And it is, it is just like the old Mego figures. Um, and, you know, I don't, I, like, I have one Mego figure, the old Superman figure I had from, uh, childhood, uh, that's, like, literally the only Mego figure that I have, at least that I rem remember, um, so, but I do, I am aware of Mego, and I know something about Mego, just because, you know, I, you know, try to keep up, uh, on other toy lines and other companies as well, just as part of being a reviewer, so, this is something that I am incredibly curious about. So thank you for this. Uh, thank you for your support. You are awesome. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who sent stuff in. That's all for this month. And I really appreciate it. You guys don't have to send anything. Uh, and yet you are incredibly generous. And it really means a lot to me. It really means a lot to me that you're here. And you, you're, I'm happy just having you here. I, even if you never send anything, even if you never take even one other step to support the channel, the fact that you are here and that you're watching, I mean, that's that's what's really important. We are going on this journey together. We are exploring G.I. Joe together. We are learning. We are having fun. We are sharing something we enjoy. And that's what the channel is all about. That's what I'm all about. And uh, so thank you. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for being here. Thank you for everything. Um, once again, if you would like to send something, uh, the, the address will be on the screen uh, right now. And everything I get in the month of July, next month I will do a video like that, uh, opening those things so we can all take a look at them. And of course, if I don't get anything, then I don't, won't do a video and that'll be totally fine. Um, uh, I don't expect anything. And if you guys uh, are not sending anything in, uh, that's, that's fine with me. But if anything is sent in, I will open it. I will say thanks. I will show everyone. And uh, we'll just have a, a fun time together just sharing G.I. Joe. So thanks, everyone. Thanks for being here. Uh, I will see you soon. Uh, don't forget Cobra Convergence all month in July. And uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, only Cobra is Cobra.